Okay guys, in our last video, the CO2 cartridge, the new CO2 cartridge, blew all the old um, seals in the main valve assembly, which is this guy here. Uh, so we'll be taking that apart uh, to see what is going on and what we need to replace. So grab yourself a cup of coffee, uh, this will be a good one. Okay, first we take out the part supporting the barrel latch. The barrel latch comes out. This part pops out. There's a spring that holds it onto the face of the valve assembly. And then this whole assembly just pops out. Okay, this is what the complete valve assembly looks like. Uh, the CO2 cartridge goes in there. Um, this section is connected by uh, two O-rings, one on each side, and it's actually a press fit. So it pulls out on both ends. Uh, so we'll be changing those two o-rings one there and one on this side so we know for a fact that we have to order those two so we can put these aside also now this guy here is the one with the c-clip Okay, that just pops out. So that's the C-clip. So this is the valve stem, this part looks like a synthetic plastic and it looks like it's in good condition. I don't think we'll need to change that, but if it's not expensive, uh, because we're going in this valve assembly, you may as well change it. And then there is... spring that goes like that that goes like that and c-clip holds it in place there now I don't know if you can see it here if you can see this but there's an o o-ring right there which is a seal So this one for sure It looks in good shape but uh, we may as well change it Then lastly, there are supposed to be another o-ring down inside there, which I can't see. Oh, okay. So there's a washer. So we know that goes, and then that goes there.
Okay. Now we talking. So we can see that's the O ring that has gone bad. This one here, you see it's all split. So that is what caused the problem. So for sure we have to replace that one. So I think we will replace uh, that one for sure. We may as well replace this O-ring even though it looks in good shape. And uh, because this is because this is some type of plastic or synthetic material um, and it's part of the valve assembly I think we'll go ahead and change this also so you have the valve body you have the first o-ring you have the washer that keeps that in place you have this bigger o-ring that fits down inside here down in there the spring goes in the valve stem goes in there this part goes over there and then the c-clip keeps the whole assembly in place so there you have it if you guys got any questions or suggestions uh, Post something in the comment section down below and uh, as usual uh, if you like this video and you want to see more of them give us a thumbs up and also uh, subscribe and share help us grow the channel thank you and until we get the parts uh, we'll give this a rest see you next time bye